Descendants 3 will introduce us to some brand new characters. But let's be honest, we're pretty much all excited to see what Dr. Fasilier's family will look like. Here's a little sneak peek of what we know so far. Mirror, mirror, what does our future hold? Don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss another video and be sure to check out our community section for even more fun. Now, let's check out what we know about Celia Fasilier. Who is Celia? Okay, let's start from the very beginning. We all know who Dr. Fasilier is, right? A tip of the hat from Dr. Fasilier. Well, if you don't, we suggest you rewatch The Princess and the Frog. He's one of those Disney villains you'll kind of hate, but kind of love too. Unless you saw Descendants, Wicked World, Animated Short, you probably didn't know he has kids. Well, he does. And Celia is one of his children. We don't really know much about her at all, but by the sound of it, she'll either be a spitting image of her father or a complete opposite. Disney has managed to keep everything under wraps, including things like her age and personality. What we do know is that Celia is clearly a villain kid which means she must live on the Isle of the Lost. Some fans seem to suspect that she is actually the same age as Dizzy and that we might see an Ardon prep storyline with these two. We'll have to wait and see how all of that plays out, won't we? Okay, so what else do we know about Celia? Family. By now you should know that Celia is the daughter of the one and only Dr. Fasilier. One thing's for certain, if we're getting Dr. Fasilier in this movie, it means he'll probably have a pretty big part. Let's not forget just how evil and manipulative he is. There's no way his role is going to be small. Honestly, we're super excited at the fact that we'll get to see a human version of his character. He's just such a well-written and thought-out character. We have a feeling it It'll be hard to portray him in his cartoon style. But let's get back to the whole Fasilier family. Dr. Fasilier also has another daughter, and her name is Freddy. You could actually see her in the Descendants Wicked World animated short. Freddy is definitely her father's daughter in the sense that she has a very similar personality and agenda. I meant why are you stealing that when you could be stealing this? While we do know quite a lot about Freddy, Celia is pretty much a mystery, which is perhaps why she was chosen for the third movie. Yep, that's right. By the looks of it, Freddy won't be in Descendants 3. As of October 2018, the cast list has only been updated with Dr. Fasilier and Celia. Are you excited to find out more things about Dr. Fasilier's second daughter? We also don't know anything about the mother either, but it doesn't look like she's the focus of the story. Isn't it strange how a lot of Disney villains are single parents? Who's the actress? The role of Celia belongs to an up-and-coming actress that goes by the name of Jada Marie. She's absolutely adorable. Jada comes from a large family and is one of nine siblings. She also has twin brothers who are both actors. Doesn't it kind of remind you of the Loud House? Anyways, Jada has shown interest in performing since she was four years old, which is pretty impressive. Apart from acting, she also did gymnastics and cheerleading. Her IMDb page said that she was a cheerleader at only four years old. We wonder if she'll get a chance to sing and dance in Descendants 3, or perhaps do any stunts. Her talents would definitely help her with that, and we really hope Disney gave her a big enough role. Although her CV is fairly short, she did land a spot on a TV series called Man and Wife, which has been running since 2015. It's very clear that this talented kid definitely has passion for acting, and we're pretty sure Descendants 3 won't be the last time we hear from her. But what will we hear in Descendants 3? storyline. So what could be a potential storyline for the third movie? As we said, Disney's been keeping this one under wraps, and so far we only got the Under the Sea short as our guide. But even then, we don't know much. However, we have a feeling that the fans might be right on their speculation of Celia's storyline. Celia's actress looks to be about the same age as Dizzy, which could potentially mean that Celia is in the same age range. And we all know that Dizzy is going to art on press. So so what if Celia got the Ardon prep invitation too? We also have a feeling that Celia's personality will pretty much determine how big of a part she'll play in the movie. If she's anything like her father, she might be up for some mischief. But if she's one of the good gals like Dizzy, they might just briefly show her. Since Freddy is the daughter that seems to be more on the evil side, Disney could definitely do a twist and give her non-evil traits. It happened to Dizzy, and they can definitely do that again. After all, that's how you balance 
balance out the family, right? If there's anything we learned, it's that everyone has a bit of good and bad in them. It all depends on what you do with those traits. Either way, we really hope we get to know Celia and give her a storyline. If her sister Freddy has a storyline in the animated short, why shouldn't we get to know Celia on the same level too? But that's just our theory. What do you think of Celia? Will she have a big role or will she just show up on screen for a couple of minutes? Do you think we'll see her in Aradon Prep or will she be up to no good on the Isle of the Lost? Share one of your theories on what will happen to her in the comments below. Let's talk about it. You know how much we love to talk about descendants with all of you. And that's it for our video. Don't forget to subscribe to The Things for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.